Hi guys, so today's video is going to be my top 10 makeup geek eyeshadows. This is an updated version of my old video. I filmed that one almost a year ago now, so I will have it linked down below if you're interested in those ones. They are still my some like some of my favorite eyeshadows. I just basically have a new top 10 and today's video is super exciting because it is a collaboration. It's a collab with two of my best friends here on YouTube and they are Casey Rayton and Hannah Schroeder. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. A lot of our audiences are the same. A lot of people who are subscribed to them are subscribed to me, vice versa. But if you haven't heard of those two girls, I highly recommend you check out their channels. They are the sweetest, sweetest things on earth. I can always count on them for anything. We pretty much talk every day. We talk about makeup, we talk about boys, we talk about everything. Like, I can go to them for absolutely anything. And I know you guys will love their channel, so please do make sure you go and watch their videos after you finish watching mine. Of course, you're going to stick around for mine first. I'm just kidding. But without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump into my top 10 favorite eyeshadows. Do you guys want to know something really funny? I just realized I'm wearing the same shirt that I wore in my video of this that I did last year. Is that weird? Oh, I kind of think that's weird. I didn't do it on purpose either. So to start off, I have two foiled eyeshadows to show you guys. So the first one is called Charmed. And this is just... I can't even explain how much I love, love, love this colour. I've got the website up, so if I'm looking over here, I'm reading you the description, so that's why. So basically, this colour is called a muted silvery light olive with taupe undertones for a foiled finish. So it's basically what it says. It's silver, but it's green, but it's like grey. It's a mixture of all these different colours into one, and I absolutely love this shadow. With all the foiled shadows, they are so, so pigmented. It is ridiculous how pigmented they are. So I do have a tutorial using this all over the lid and I absolutely loved it. It is just a stunning color. It's not really one I would re reach for every single day obviously because it's quite different but for something like a special occasion or something like that I love this color so 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 much. So this one again is called Charmed. The next foiled shadow I have is called Starry Eyed and this is what this one looks like here. It is light champagne beige with a slight pink undertone and a foiled finish. So again, another foiled eyeshadow and it is, yeah, a really light champagne-y colour. I would think this would be perfect for someone with my kind of skin tone for a bridal makeup look for the lid colour. I actually did a bride's makeup in May and I used a colour from Stila called Kitten, which is like super famous but this color is very 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 close to steel a kitten so if you wanted to get that shade i would recommend getting this one instead maybe because it's super affordable like these foiled shadows are ten dollars and the other eyeshadows are only six dollars they're so affordable it's crazy so this one i love for like everyday wear just a beautiful foiled pop of goldy champagne color on the lid and yeah i just really really like this shade so again, that one is called Starry Eyed. This next colour is super fun and just right up my street. It is called Chickadee and it is an orange pretty much. The website describes it as a matte yellow orange. And that is pretty much what it is. It is a super, super warm toned colour. I love this for the crease. Um, I think this would actually look so good just all over the eye completely, like buffed into the crease and all over the lid. I think this would look super, super good, so maybe I should try that one day. So yeah, this is just a matte colour and it is, again, just so up my alley. I love warm tones, I love oranges, I love yellows, I love reds, I love all of those kinds of shades, so this really just speaks to me. I love this shade. So. Again, it is called Chickadee, and how cute is that name? Next colour is called Cherry Cola, and this is what this one looks like. It is a warm-toned ready brown, so the website describes it as a deep brown with a strong red undertone and a matte finish. So again, this is another matte shade. I do love my matte shades. I'm all about that matte life. So I just love this shade for a super warm-toned smoky eye, pretty self-explanatory. I just absolutely adore this colour. Some browns like this you'll get and they're just sort of chalky and not quite that pigmented. But this one is super pigmented and it's just like butter. 
I love, love, love this colour. So again, this one is called Cherry Cola, which again, I love the name of this. I think Makeup Geek has some of the best names for their eyeshadows. Another matte brown shade I have is called Americano. So this one is more of a, like, true chocolate brown. The website says it's a dark brown with subtle purple undertones and a matte finish. So this one's not quite so warm toned, but I still do find it to be more of a warm toned shade than a cool toned. I mean, I guess it's a mixture between the bo both, cool toned and warm toned. But either way, it's again super rich and buttery and I just love colours like this for a smoky eye. I feel like if you're doing a completely black smoky eye, having something like this in the crease to add warmth and depth is just so beautiful and yeah, I just love colours like this. So yes, this one is called Americano. Next shade is another colour that I just am in love with. It's called Morocco. I love the name of this one. I love the colour of this one. This is just like one of my all-time favourite eyeshadows. Oh, I nearly dropped it. In the whole entire world, it is like right up there in like the top five eyeshadows ever, ever, ever. Um, so the website says Morocco is a rich burnt orange with a matte finish. Again, another matte. Um, just whip it out these matte shades. I would say it's like a rusty orangey just beautiful colour. I love this so, so, so much. I will link, I'll link tutorials down below of me using some of these colours um, just so you can get an idea of what they look like on the eyes and that kind of thing. I have a tutorial mainly based around all these orangey shades, so I will definitely link it down below. I find these shades so flattering on green eyes and blue eyes, anyone with those kind of eyes or hazel eyes. And I'm sure it would look good on brown eyes too. Like, I feel like it would look good on anyone. So if you're into warm shades, I would seriously get this one. It is just my favourite eyeshadow, I think. I think it's... Well, it's one of my favourite eyeshadows. Ever, ever, ever. So that one, again, is called Morocco. Next colour I mention in my May favourites, so obviously I'm going to mention it now. It is called Desert Sands, and I am just in love with this colour. I explained a bit more about it in my May favourites. But basically, I've just been picking up this colour almost every single day for my crease. It just gives it that warmth. And it's described as a medium camel brown with warm yellow undertones and a matte finish. So, I don't know what it is about these kinds of shades, but I just find them so flattering. If you had have showed me this five years ago, I would have been like, that is disgusting. Who would ever wear that on their eyes? And here I am, talking about it in my top favourites. I love it so, so, so much. Um, I find, again, I think this would be another one that would look really good just all over the lid, all in the crease. And yeah, just another staple, I think, in my Makeup Geek eyeshadow collection. So once again, it is called Desert Sands. This colour is called Shimmer Shimmer. I can't believe it took me so long to actually get this colour. I love this shade so much for brow bone highlight, inner corner highlight, highlighting anything. You could use this on your face. I think it would look beautiful. And it is just described as a metallic champagne, which is exactly what it is. It's metallic, it's beautiful, gives your inner corner such a pop of colour. I just absolutely adore this colour. Um, and even though it might not look like anything special, it's something that you definitely need to have. Like, you need it. If you want to nail an eyeshadow look, you need a poppin' inner corner highlight, I think. And this will give you that. Um, and I like this one even more than my MAC Shroom shade, which MAC is so much more expensive than Makeup Geek, so would highly, highly recommend Shimmer Shimmer. Second to last is called Frappe, and this is just a brown that I have had for a long time and I just use all the time. As a crease colour, as an outer corner colour, it's just absolutely beautiful. So the website describes this one as a medium maple brown matte. I love that description, a maple brown. I really think that nails it. I'm all about the browns and the mattes and the colours that can be used for pretty much any look that you can pair with any sparkly eyeshadow, a glitter, a pigment, anything on the lid. You need colours like this for the crease. You need colours like this in your collection. Um, and they just, they're everything for everyday use. Like. I don't know what I would do without these kind of colours in my collection. So once again, I would highly, highly recommend to check out Frappe. It's just absolutely beautiful. And then my final shade for my top 10. I'm actually really surprised I did not mention this in my previous video because I've loved this eyeshadow for years and years and years. 
and it is called Bitten and it is described as a matte deep maroon red. So that is pretty much what it is. It's a maroon shade. I absolutely love it. It's quite similar to Cherry Cola, um, although Bitten definitely does have more red to it, more of a purpley tone. And I'm just obsessed with this colour. It is absolutely beautiful. It's perfect for like autumn, winter time, but then I still wear it in summer. I absolutely love it. Um, one way I like to wear this is actually just right on the lash line in the outer corner and then bringing it right underneath my lower lash line. I find that just looks absolutely beautiful on the lids. So I seriously love this colour. If you don't have it, you really, really do need it. I would highly, highly recommend it. So again, that one is called Bitten. So that is it for my top 10 Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I really hope this one was helpful for you guys. Don't forget to check out my lovely friends Hannah and Casey. I know you're going to love their channels just as much as I do. And don't forget to give my video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And let me know your favourite Makeup Geek shadows down below if you have any. I would love to maybe check them out if I don't already have them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!